How's it going, guys? Uh, Stray Cat here. Um, so a lot of you guys don't know a whole lot about me when it comes to um, some of the things I do outside of gaming. Well, I purchased a couple different things um, that I'm going to unbox for you today um, to uh, kind of give you a little bit of an intro into what I do outside of gaming. I am a card collector. Actually, surprisingly enough, I do collect quite a bit of cards. Specifically, magic um, and Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, you, surprisingly enough, uh, I, this is just one of them. I actually have a few, <laughs> a good binder full of them um, back from when I was a kid. Uh, but uh, I have quite a few boxes of these. Um, probably, probably cop talking in the couple hundreds right now. Um, I've actually had. Uh, uh, I've actually had a lot of other ones, but um, some of these are the recent um, copies of everything. Let me see here. I've got, I flipped some things around because uh, I thought they were kind of cool. Um, one day my hope and dreams are to actually open up my own game shop and card shop um, consisting of this, uh, this stuff and including um, opening up a hobby store, basically essentially for games, D&D, everything. I'm a huge nerd, so this is actually kind of uh, part of me uh, that I actually have uh, kind of taking a liking into that I haven't really talked to you guys about. So, yeah, uh, I mainly play Commander Magic. Um, it's probably one of my favorite uh, play styles of Magic that I actually enjoy. Um, but, yeah, guys... Um, so here's just a quick look into some of the collection that I have from this year. Um, I bought all these right at the beginning of the year because I am going to uh, start uh, doing videos like this um, for TikTok, YouTube, whatever, just kind of a, as a side thing for um, to kind of combat my my game stuff, um, some content, filler content for you that it's actually my interest and not just... Uh, gaming uh, but I mainly play black as you can tell um, uh, let me get it in the picture here see I've got like black some red mainly black though I'm a huge black player um, most of these other cards are generally just filling but I did find something interesting and I kind of wanted to share it with you um, so there's these uh, packages that can't come out. Um, put those away for now. Um, that came out that were um, like jump starter packs. And I'd never seen one before. And I had bought one probably right at the beginning of January. Um, but uh, here's actually one interesting one I got is dogs. Um, dog pack. Uh, like pack leader. Um, like different kind of wolves is maru um guard wolf it's kind of interesting um i've never actually seen dogs um that's not a dog one but it came with it uh, uh release the dogs creatures with white crave for one one uh white dog creatures with uh with tokens thought it said sickness there for a minute i'm looking through a camera um uh, yeah, but yeah, it's super cool. Like, look at this. Like, it's super, super cool. Alpine Watchdog. It was probably one of my more interesting um, <laughs> cards that I could ever get. Um, but yeah, Cathar's Companion. Rambunctious Mutt. This one's kind of interesting. Destroy target artifact and enchantment and opponent controls when it enters the field. It's pretty honestly pretty cool. Trusty retriever. Pacifism. Um, and then land uh, didn't it came with a bunch of basic land as you can tell. Everything does. It's it's not uncommon to see that. Um, but uh, this one that's actually kind of cool to me. Thriving uh, thriving heath. It's a little hard to see. I don't understand why it's not loaded, why it doesn't focus very well, but it's probably the lighting. Let's see. Yeah. So those are the, that's kind of a little look into what I've collected already this year on top of the cards that I just had. 
Um, but guys, uh, I'm gonna actually unbox uh, this Ikoria um, red theme. I kind of didn't really pick um, a specific color. I kind of just went up to the shelf and picked them, picked them up before I started. But um, I don't really understand how people open them. So I'm just going to open them the way I did. And I opened it up upside down. <laughs> Great way to start 2021, right? All right. Ah. Some people are probably like burn rolling over like, no, you can't do that. So we got that. Um, I actually don't know the values of most of these cards um, that I do pull. I don't generally look at them uh, pricing um, right away. I kind of go through and kind of look at them first. Uh, but yeah, so let's see here. We got Momentum Rumbler. It's a creature. Uh, Ferocious tr Tigerilla. That's actually kind of cool. It's a Tigerilla. It's a cat ape. That's that's a pretty cool clash of titans. A little a uh, little instant there for you. Um, Friscarla Mentor. Oh, Friscare Mentor. No, no. Frillscare Mentor. Mentor. Okay. Sorry. Frenzied Raptor. So, a dinosaur. That's actually kind of impressive. Uh, Flame Spill. I think I've seen this one in other other um other uh ones that i have picked up oh a cloud spicer or cloud piercer that's a dinosaur so this new stack i didn't realize it but it's like prehistoric almost some of them are mysterious egg that one's a pretty cool one actually i like that um tentative consention It's actually really cool. That's a red that helps out red decks really well. Uh, Footfall Car Carter, Crafter. Sorry, <laughs> it's so hard. I'm reading them upside down. Um, that one's actually not bad. Um, Spell Eater Wolverine. That has double strike. That's actually pretty sweet. The Pro Fire Prophecy. That's like almost Lord of the Rings style right there. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> uh, por Porky Parrot? What the hell? This has actually got other pieces on it. I actually, I have not actually owned any cards with this extra piece on it. I've never actually seen it. Um, I've only, um, I've only seen them in some other uh, i've only seen them while i've been playing with friends and stuff i've never actually pulled one with that pyro it's prior ceratops so fire sir triceratops it's pretty cool cathartic reunion that's pretty cool draw three cards for scale or mentor prof fire prophecy Spell Eater Wolverine, another one of those. Blazing Volley deals one damage. That's not bad. Flame Spill, that's another one. Some of these, some of the de ones they do have tend to be the same. Go for Blood, that's pretty cool. I like some of the artwork on these. There's another Tiger gr t Ty Gorilla. Reptilian Reflection. So uh, something to help out your dinosaurs. You become a five-four dinosaur creature with a trample. That's freaking nuts. That's crazy. Dranus Stinger. That one's pretty cool. Yeah. Shredded sails. Destroy target artifact. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, Lava serpent. Oh, it went out of zoom. Hey, it's got haste on it. Cycles. That's pretty cool. Rumbling rock slide. Some of these are actually pretty good cards, to be honest. Um, rooting Moloch. That's pretty dope. 
Breaking Claws. Target creature gains double strike until the end of turn. That's not bad at all. Go for blood again. Prickly Marmoset. I actually don't know what a Marmoset is, but that's kind of funny. It's a monkey. First strike, whenever you cycle a card, Prickly Marmoth gets two plus two. Till it, wow, that's not bad. Raking Claws again. Reptilian Reflection. Sonorous Hollow Wonder. Howl Wonder. Howl Bonder. Oh, oh, sorry, it's Howl Bonder. A little human warrior to go with all those. And then a legendary creature from the set. Yadaro, Wandering Monster. That's actually pretty cool, guys. Um, so I will be adding these to my collection. Um, as I go, you'll start seeing uh, more. You'll start seeing more um, cards show up in the future. Uh, I'm trying to keep up on it, uh, just because for you guys, it'll give you guys something to watch, some a little bit more into what I do, and not just games, because I do do games a lot. Um, but this is kind of a good headway into where I want to go as a person and kind of my life. Um, cause guys, I, I will tell you, um, hopefully my hopes and dreams are to, uh, become a car shop, uh, uh, owner and, uh, make, uh, sell magic cards, Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, trading card games of any kind, tabletop RPGs, board games, um, just about honestly anything you could find in a normal game shop plus more um so this is kind of a little bit of a look into what i do and what my interests are outside of gaming um and hopefully you guys um enjoy these videos i they will get better as i go my first video is going to be rough it's just how it is um but you will see more unboxing videos here in the near future i have um i have a couple more unboxing uh, videos to do um, that pertain to other card games um, I am I am starting my own Pokemon collection starting this year uh, I have never actually owned a single Pokemon card in my life so this is kind of new to me um, so yeah um, there will be an op unboxing for a uh, for a, a box that I had just found from my local uh, one of my local uh, stores uh unfortunately the game shops that i do have are a little rough um but um if you guys can i would highly recommend um supporting your local game shops retailers um retailers like fred meyers and stuff like that and walmart they're all great and they're good places to get stuff like that but you know as a guy who aspires to be a card shop owner guys just understand that we are your home for card games and board games and stuff like that. We we may have a little bit of a higher markup on some of them, and it may seem unreasonable. But if you support your local game shops, there is a better community of people who are willing to sit down and play games with you, um, and not just uh, not just sell you the product like regular retail stores are. They'll you know, uh, tournaments and stuff like that. And most card shops offer uh, demo versions of just about any game that they own. Um, so you can play it there before you actually buy it, which is one of the big things that I can't stress enough, guys. Local game shops are the place to get cards and games and stuff like that. It It's honestly, if you want a v solid, solid advice from people, you want to go there, especially about games, um, whether it's Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Magic, or board games like uh, Pandemic, or D&D, uh, &D or Star Wars, or anything like that. They have just about everything um, there, and most of them are pretty knowledgeable about the games they do play um, and the games they sell. Um, but yeah, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed these videos. Um, this is just one of the very few videos that I will be setting up uh, for um, YouTube. And um, you guys will see it on TikTok, or at least a little bit of a 
like a kind of little blip uh, kind of to show off um, some of the cards I did get that are of pretty decent value. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you guys like the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you want to see more content like this, let me know. I am huge, huge, huge about finding what you guys like and what you guys don't like. Because if I don't know what you like, I can't make content for you. I am solely here for you guys as a part of the community. Um, and I really appreciate your guys' support and ongoing, uh, ongoing work. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much. If you want to go ahead and subscribe, if you want to see more content like this, um, you can go ahead and leave a like on the videos that you do want to see more of. Um, and I will, uh, look at those and, uh, kind of start, uh, tailoring those videos to you. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll uh, see you next time.